What are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> Bug. Mm. <laughs> Let's go. It's four forty five. What do we do at four forty five? Mm, you excited? <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. Good morning, guys. So, we just got back from our workout. You seen little tired Tanya didn't, <laughs> didn't want to get up to work or get up to work out today. I'm not a morning person, but I do it every day just to get my workout in, so I can have the rest of the day to do other things. Sure. Um, today we have something, a few things planned out. Going to do some fun stuff today. Not so much bus building. Yeah, I feel like we've we've shown you quite a bit of bus stuff the last few uh, weeks, so we thought we would take you on a nice adventure today. Sure, and there is going to be some bus building, there's going to be some adventuring, and there might even be some other buses involved. Just maybe. Uh, we got our cooler packed up. That's one thing that we like is food a ton. <laughs> but, you know, Seriously. as far as being prepared, that is one thing that we try to bring. It helps us save a lot of money, too. And it helps us from being hangry with each other because that does happen. Sure. And so, yeah, we got a long day packed. So we got our we got our cooler packed up. We got our water jugs ready to go. We've got keys to both buses. <laughs> And we're only going to take one. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know about you, but I'm freaking hungry. I'm starving. So we're going to go get some breakfast and take you on the way. Just sitting down to breakfast. Tommy's putting on a little Cholula. Mm. You got to get the chili garlic. It's, it's the best a failure. One. You buy two a week. Oh, look at this. Mm. Wow. Got the omelets, the potatoes, the eggs. Getting a quick little fuel up, and then we're in the road. So today we wanted to share with you a little bit about why we ended up buying a bus. And not just one bus, but now we have two buses. And just to kind of bring it back a little bit, a little story about Dustin and I is we used to do the whole nine to five. We had a house, we had two cars, several motorcycles, we had two dogs. And we lived the normal life, the life where we went to work every day. Um, and we spent a lot of time on the weekends with, you know, just chilling and watching Netflix. And one day we kind of sat around and, and we watched uh, Dustin's cousin sharing pictures of trips that him and his family had taken and all these cool places that they were going. And it kind of made us just sit back and reflect on what we were doing 
and how we were really just like wasting our time. And we were sitting there watching Netflix, wasting our life away. And at that moment, when we saw those pictures and the video clips that he was sharing, it made us think about how much we needed to change in our life and how we needed to start seeing more of the world and go out and do things. And so I believe it was that following weekend, we had made a plan to every single weekend, go find something to do, go out, explore. And in the time we were, we were living in Nebraska and most of the time you would think that there's not much to do, but the, the honest truth is, is when you actually go out and look and find things, there's plenty of things to do. And so in that moment, every single weekend, Dustin and I made it a point to go out and explore. All right, guys, now we got our pack set up. We got our freaking water. Got our snacks. Love snacks. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I like to eat. Let's be honest. So we just got done telling a little bit about what got us to here and, and when we started adventuring. So let's let's back go, it up a let's little go bit. back down the road <laughs> and 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 start back on the road trip mm -hmm. uh back in 2009 we got married and we were the normal 23 24 year old couple and like she said before we were doing the nine to five we were doing the 401k and the two dogs in the house and five cars and 10 motorcycles and no seriously though <laughs> seriously. uh so now we are totally into our house where you know everything started out with our marriage in 2012 we came across a pretty bumpy path and and what kind of started on that path realistically i was uh just a long story short i was diagnosed with endometriosis i was dealing with this pain that was something that was kind of unheard of at the time and and able to cope and with life and go to work i got put on prescription pain pills and so after that our lives just kind of spiraled out of control. Um, in 2012, we were both, I would say, in debt, on addiction, depressed. All of these things transpired. And in 2012, we finally... Had tore our lives completely down. Completely down. Just like the bus. Completely tore it down. <laughs> and how we started to slowly kind of build that back up was Dustin went to treatment in 2012. Yeah, I was struggling with addiction, real bad with prescription pain pills and depression. And we were really just in really bad shape. Yeah, so I had some surgeries. Yeah, so we tore it all down and we started to rebuild. And hiking is really kind of where our life started to lift back up. Um, that's when we really started to kind of use the outdoors as our therapy. And we really got into being more outdoorsy and being more active instead of sitting on the couch and watching Netflix and wishing our life could be this or could have been that. And we really just started to live the life that we wanted to. Sure. And so... Here we are at Here a trail, are. back to life, back, back to, to reality. reality. <laughs> and so let's go smash this trail. Let's hit it.
like to do is pick up trash on the toilet. So speaking of garbage, between 2012 and 2016 is when Dustin and I really started to remove the garbage from our life. So we started focusing on cleaning up our diet, quit smoking, we started working on getting ourselves out of debt, and we really started to focus on how to live a healthy lifestyle. And with that, now we're back at the bus, we just finished up our hike, so it's time to go get lunch. So usually when we pack our day full of adventure, Dustin and I always pack our stuff to go as we told you earlier. So today what we have for lunch is what we like to call clean up on aisle five. So usually towards the end of the week, we clean up whatever's in our fridge and we just throw stuff together and make a meal out of it so we can use up what we have. Um, so today I'm having rice and beans and some guacamole, some salsa and some jalapenos. Just kind of threw it all together but sometimes we usually sit down to eat together but usually when we're we have a full day planned of stuff we just kind of eat on the go and that's what we're doing now so right now we are actually on our way to our next adventure which we'll show you here in just a little bit oh. we're at our second adventure we found ourselves a tiny home festival we got some friends here gonna hook up with them and maybe find some things we can do on our bus here we go Bus. Now we want to kind of show you guys our third adventure of the day. Um, this one's really exciting. It happens every day here and it's called Denver traffic. And <laughs> you get stuck in it for like maybe like 15 minutes or maybe like, you know, two or three hours. It really, it's, it's, unbelievable you can look around and people will be texting and driving people will be running into the back of the car in front of them people Accidents will be yeah people will be flipping over and their cars will be upside down i mean denver traffic is truly an epic thing and we just wanted to kind of share with you a little bit going both ways so you're looking at like nine lanes of traffic and this is actually pretty realistically mild. pretty mild so yeah all right guys we're done at all the adventuring for today we are back we are just getting some things finished up we are in the new bus and as you can see we have completely tore down the entire bus we tore it down to the bare bones i guess if you would say and that has kind of been the topic of today this this vlog is is kind of tearing your life all the way down and starting over and rebuilding so now we start the rebuild phase she's completely tore down and she's ready for a new life and so together we are gonna build our home, we are gonna build our lives, 
And we're going to build the next chapter. And we're going to bring you along with us. So come along, enjoy, and if you want to, you should probably check into joining the Road Trip Squad. You might want to throw a like up on the video. Heck, you might even want to subscribe and see this crusty old bus get a facelift and a, a new life redo. So <laughs> with that, we thank you for coming along with us today. We're truly grateful for each and every one of you. We thank you. From the bottom of our hearts. Spread love. What are you doing? Put on my bus build pants. Why? Because it's bus build time.